I'm moving. As you guys may have read from the title, I'm moving. Can you guess where? <laughs> On a real note, I am just packing for LA. But I'm moving. Yet. Actually, I've been wanting to move there for a long time, but then it like became a trend and I was like, mm, do I still want to? I kind of do still though. It's either LA or New York. The basic spots. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be nice. Who wants to live in Indiana? You fuck? So... That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be there for four days. By the time you guys see this video, I'll have been there for two days. I'm trying to get this video up like ASAP. You guys are gonna think this is stupid. I actually made this video already. It's not uploading to my computer and I'm like- Are, are you serious? This is the second try. If it's not as good, well, um, you knew what you were signing up for when you clicked on this video. Anyway, I'm going there. I'm, I have a photo shoot to do. This is my first one. Every photo that you guys have seen on Instagram, anything you've seen on Instagram, it's usually taken by my sister Ariana or me. So this is like, this is big for me. Usually my it's me and my sister. You know, we know my, my good spots and my not so good spots. It doesn't suck, but it's just like, you know. But my dad is coming with me. I don't really know what there is to do in LA. We're about, we're gonna find out. We're gonna see if it's actually worth the hype, if it's just like basic. I've heard good and bad things about California. So we will see when we get there, if it's worth moving. I had so much to talk about yesterday. Today. I'm not even I'm not gonna lie to you guys like I feel like this part of the video is like very dull and boring It's kind of like a botched packing with me because I'm not really packing them that you guys are seeing all I really need to pack is like toiletries and stuff now as you can tell I already packed my suitcase. Well, this ain't even really a suitcase. This is I guess a carry-on which nobody told me until like last minute and I don't have a real suitcase but this will have to do. I mean, she's holding up. I have nine outfits in there for four days. <laughs> um, also, a backpack. So I have a backpack that I'm gonna be taking and then I have my little suitcase. You know, you know the fucked up thing is I know how hot it's gonna be there and can you guess what I, pa what I packed more of? Hoodies and crewnecks and sweatpants. Don't ask me why, because I sure as hell don't know. I have like one pair of jeans. I think we're gonna like fix that in a second. Oh, my friend Pablo is going. I met Pablo from my friend, and I guess he was like already following me on social media. They started talking or whatever, and then she showed like showed me him on FaceTime, and then me and him automatically became best friends. Homeboy wants to be a famous baseball player. Speaking of friends earlier, I only have like two. No. It's crazy, right? Brianna and Tristan. Those are my only friends. I used to have a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. They used to all be like guys. I used to be one of the dudes. And then we, I used to have this group of guy friends. We'd hang, obviously we'd hang out all the time. But I was like the only girl in the group, like when I was there, at least. It was just a fun time. Great people to be around at the time. And then everything just like, they either moved, became fake little bitches, got girlfriends, and I guess couldn't talk to me anymore or just don't talk to them anymore i really i appreciated the time i had with all my friends or whatever but damn people become fake like really quick i have more than two friends right i maybe have three three good ones the other ones i'm not gonna lie y'all are like acquaintances we don't hang out we don't talk you can't get butt hurt if i'm saying i only have three friends that's on you because we could have hung out we could have done we could have done hung out by now basically I like guy friends more than girlfriends because uh, guy friends are just fun. Girls are just a lot of drama most of the time. Not all, not all girls. That's like saying all men ain't shit. I'll stick with my guy friends over my girlfriends. Except Brianna and Tristan, they're just like they don't count. They ain't shit. They ain't anything like that. Sometimes they have a little. No, they don't. There's never any bullshit, really. And if there is, then <laughs> you bet your ass I'm gonna call them out for it. You bet your ass. Let me just answer a few questions that I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram. You might as well. I, I've i literally been all over with this damn vlog or video, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So a lot of people have been asking, you know, this generation is just like, only fans, only fans, oh, let's make money with our body. Which, I mean, if y'all do that, that's on you. Like, I totally support you doing that. Me, it's like a, um, Like, not everyone's gonna have, like, a easy breezy, bold feeling about it, you know? So, I don't know. 
I steer clear. But I mean, OnlyFans isn't just like nudes. Is there a fucking ghost mouth? Anyway, um, you can do whatever you want on there, honestly. Like, I could literally post my fucking TikToks that I can't post on TikTok. Sadly, I will not make one. Have you ever gotten to a fist fight or argument? It wasn't more, it wasn't really a fist fight. It was more of like a, well, mmm. I try to steer, actually, mmm. Should I say this? Mm. Actually, yes, I have been in a fist fight. It was, I just, I snapped because they snapped. They punched me in the face. I got a bloody lip and I went ham. It is nothing to be excited about. Like, I don't know, be the bigger person, use your words. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't and that sucks. But anyway, so yes, I have. I literally, I could have knocked this kid out if somebody didn't fucking get me off. This was, this was either this, the beginning of this year or last year. I don't fucking know. But that was crazy. This kid is crazy. I'm not going to tell you who, but this kid's crazy. It was funny though. Like at the end, I was like, eh. what's your favorite movie? Now, my favorite movie growing up was Spirit. You know, the horse. Yeah. Love that shit. When I, my mama said... When I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with horses. I was not no damn horse girl before y'all Maybe it was. No, I was not some, whatever. This was when I was a kid before school and everything. Anyway, so my mama said that I love that movie. I knew exactly what the horses were saying because I spoke horse, you know. I actually talked about this in another YouTube video, a little. It was funny. I'll bring it up again though. And I guess I used to like, when we get to the store and stuff, I'd see like a toy horse and I put it in my diaper like to try to take. And I would only speak horse. I still love that movie. Like I fucking love it. But um, just think about that. Yeah. If we're talking like a movie that's not like for kids. It's always gonna be hands down the blind side or even like remember the Titans. Like I love those movies that are like based on true like things. But if we're talking about horror movies, The Conjuring. Still, like, it's all like, you know, true shit. Love it. I love that shit. Those movies just get to me. Love them. Would you like to visit Mexico? Yes, I would. I'm supposed to go with my dad. But, um, my mama. My mama won't let me. Because she doesn't want me to get killed. Which is crazy. I don't know, my mom is just overprotective when it comes to me leaving. She don't, mean, she don't want me leaving the nest. Like, this is her nest. And this is me trying to leave. And then she'll try, like, no. Mexico, I, okay, I'll give her Mexico. Like, you know, she can keep me from going to Mexico or like, you know, whatever for now. But when it's my time to make decisions, um, maybe I'll go. But I would actually like to go. How often do you get hate if you do? What is your advice for coping with it? So like, I've been getting hate since fucking the beginning. Not the beginning, since I was in school. High school, middle school, a little in the intermediate school. If you don't know what an intermediate school is, it was fifth and sixth grade, just in one building. Whether it be for who I hung out with, what I wore, how I acted. Cause I was no damn girly girl. I'll tell you that right now. I was a little tomboy. I mean, you see what I'm wearing? Like I still like wearing these kind of shorts and stuff, but I used to wear like basketball shorts and everything like all the damn time, which is crazy to think about now. Like damn, who is she? If I can find pictures, I will. You know, I'll put them there for y'all to cringe at too. And you guys can tell me if you would believe me too. Usually when I get hate, I don't really think any, I don't think anything of it. Like usually you have the people that are on my back. Like if somebody says like, oh, you're fucking ugly. Oh, go like kill yourself. Oh, this and this and this. Why would you want to give them power? Or like even for like just anything, like they like, just, they just want to put you down. They want to put you down at their level. When you're up here, they want you to Drop down. So when I get a hate comment, I hear somebody talking shit, I'll usually just like not give it the attention that they're thinking they're gonna get, you know? Because once you give them attention, that's when they have like the power. They have the power in their hands. And you don't wanna give them that. It might be hard sometimes if like somebody just says something. Like I remember when I posted my first like picture of me in like a bikini and it looked very revealing. Uh, this girl said, You have no respect for yourself. You must have no respect for yourself. My best friend commented back to th that before I could even see it and it caught her out. And then guess what? She deleted her post. She deleted it. But either way, I wasn't gonna like give her the time of day or anyone for that matter. When I when I used to post like yellows, like not like post them with like what people say what they want to say. Some people would be like saying all this dumb shit. Oh, you're a or oh, you're this or oh, da 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 da. 
you're fake, you're this, you're that. And I never come, I never responded back to one of those. Cause you know why? Why give them the time of day? Why give them a chance? It's a waste of time. So basically what I'm saying is, if you're getting hate, ooh, my legs be looking crazy. Anyway. But if you're getting hate over anything, the best thing to do is ignore it. It could hurt for a second, because believe me, you could get 99 compliments and then you could get like two hate comments. Now all these positive comments should be in your mind, but chances are the two negative ones will be in your mind a little bit more. But what you should do, forget about it. Just forget about them. If they're hating on you, there's probably something wrong with them because they're honestly, they're probably just jealous of you. If they're taking time out of their day to say negative shit about you, they have something messed up in their head. They have, they have something, there's something missing in them that you probably have. Basically, you're popping, they're gonna keep hating, people are gonna hate regardless of what you're doing. So let them hate, let them waste their time, say what they gotta say, because they're hurt. Sweetie, they're hurt. They really are. Hopefully when I edit this, this all makes sense. But moral of the story, you're getting hate. When you're getting hate, just know you're popping. These people are just jealous of you. And when you get comments and hate online, ignore them. Delete them. Don't show any remorse for their comment because they are irrelevant. Firstly. Don't show them the light of day. They're a waste of time. Same with fake friends. If you know somebody that's being fake to you and like you're like putting up with it and being their friend still, don't. You don't need that negative energy in your life. You don't need them. You don't. Surround yourself with the people you wouldn't be surrounded with. If you wouldn't be surrounded with fake people, that's not good for you. You need to get away from that. You need to surround yourself with people with good energy. You need to surround yourself with people that you would like to be around. I need to turn off my damn notifications. Jeez, just don't be with or be around those people, please. Please. Jeez. What's your middle name? My middle name is Guadalupe. Yes, you heard it here. Guadalupe. Bianca Guadalupe Camarena. It's a very nice name. I'm not lying. I actually really do like it. I'm happy I didn't get some basic middle name. Like, I'm glad I didn't get some basic middle name like Elizabeth or Marie. Those are my sister's middle names. Not for me. So, I'm thankful for that. It is hard sometimes for people to say my whole name, but it's cool. You guys that are watching this could be like, that's really easy, what the fuck are you talking about? When it's written on paper, or when you like, people with long names and like different names, y'all can understand. Y'all understand the struggle. Are you happy? As of right now, yes, I am happy. I feel like my life is just coming together. Do you have a boyfriend? No, we talked about this earlier in the video. I do not have a boyfriend. How old are you? I am 18. Okay, I'm done with these. Um, these are getting, uh, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, you know, comment something if you want, only if you want. I don't, I don't care. If you want to subscribe, comment, like this video. Hopefully this video goes up by the time I want it to, because by the time I want it to, I will be in LA already and everything should be going a-okay. You know, I'm going to start editing this video right now. Actually, I'm going to go to get a drink first. I'm a hungry bitch and a thirsty bitch. That is it. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. What the fuck? I've never said that before. YouTube's changing me. Hope y'all have a great week, um, and I will see y'all next week. Peace. Was that believable? Do y'all actually think I'm gonna see y'all next week? I will. We're getting back on this grind. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Peace, mother... Mother...